Hello YouTubers out there. There's a reason why you can't see my face right now. It's because I feel pretty shit. It's because it's Valentine's Day again. And yet again. I'm fucking single. Again. So I can't be bothered to show my face. It sucks, you know. Being single on Valentine's Day, it's all about couples and that. I've just realised that in my life, that's like one hell of a life because I've got friends coming up who are. I've only ever been in a relationship once on Valentine's Day. And I've been dumped on Valentine's Day as well. It was back at school. I was going out with this man, or child, called Ben Turnbull. This was before he turned gay, it's set, that's a stress. And I was going out with him, and I knew he wasn't going to be in for Valentine's Day, that's why I didn't bring anything in. But his best mate comes up to me and he says, Ben's dumping you. And I'm like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. And he's like, yeah, he, did. he wants to come back to Moe's single. And I'm like, what? And all I remember is crying in class because it was heartbreaking. Because being dumped on Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then I was single a lot. I never lasted long if I did get it with someone. Actually, scratch that. I have been with someone on Valentine's Day twice. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot him. I was with James Wilson. Valentine's Day, and you know, I got him a huge cotton and, and some flowers. Not flowers, chocolates. Because he was super skinny. <laughs> and he got me a card and a teddy bear. I've still got it actually. The teddy bear. Not the card, but the teddy bear. And so that was one. And then. After James, I had a series of relationships after that, but nothing lasted. I even had a maybe engagement, but didn't really work out. Or somebody could down Wiggum. And I honestly really like this bloke. I couldn't see myself marrying him because I think I was still in love with Terry Hepburn at the time. Because me and Terry had like this pull that kept pulling us together. Um, until he left, I stayed, uh, um, he left, then the pool was gone, <laughs> obviously, because he wasn't there anymore. I don't think me and Terry will ever be friends again, actually, because of what happened recently. But he knows that I'm not gonna gossip, even though he already has. <laughs> so then, after James. And a series of relationships that didn't really last a Valentine's Day. I had a pretty serious one that lasted three months. That was pretty serious because I actually loved this bloke and even though he checked me like shit, I loved him. But saying that, I was going through a rough time in my life because I was coming, I was start, I was being independent for the first time and I felt shit anyway, so. I maybe mean, that's why I went for him. <laughs> He's the word. He's the baddest bad boy I ever went out with. And I've went out with bad boys since then, but nothing compared to my first one. I don't think anything does compare to the first, I don't think. So yeah, that was pretty serious, but that only lasted about three months. And then after him, I was single. For four years. Oh yeah, you can't see my fingers. Four years. I was single for four fucking years. 
which is embarrassing. On the fourth year of being single, I actually spoke to God. I said, if you are even out there, show me who he is. Fucking show me. If there's my soulmate out there, show me who he is. Because you know what? I will give you a date. And I did. I gave him a date. If you if he doesn't find me on this date, then I don't believe in you. This is before the breakup. This is like the four year break of seeing no one. And I did, I gave him a date. And you know who showed up in my life? Adam. So he was the man I was meant to meet. Also, I thought. And so that didn't work out. But I was with him for Valentine's Day. And we had a meal out at some boot girls. And I enjoyed myself a lot. And he enjoyed himself. And then we went back to mine. And he stayed over, I think. And we just had a great time. What I loved about that was I spent it with someone. I wasn't alone anymore. And now is another Valentine's Day single. It's coming up to the fourth year again. I've I've not I haven't even dated much since Adam actually. It sucks being single, everyone out there. I wouldn't wish being single on anyone. I've heard people say, oh, I wish I was single. And I'd be like, no. No, you fucking don't. It's lonely as fuck. Especially on Valentine's Day. Where it's everyone's couple, coupled up and everything. My friend's coupled up. My, my other friend is maybe coupled up. She doesn't know yet. And I'm always the odd one out. I'm always the single one. I know singles gonna have fun by fucking around and everything, but at the end of the day, I want to get married. I want to settle down. I want to live with a man. I want to get married. Nobody wants me. <laughs> it sucks that nobody wants me. I even tried auditioning for the show The Indatables and they didn't even want me. So that just makes me feel even worse. I just feel worthless that nobody wants me. I'm so desperate with that. If, if anyone asks me out right now, I might say yes. But for the wrong reasons. It's probably just so I can say, I've got a boyfriend for Valentine's Day. I promise you, everyone. <laughs> well, especially my Valentine's Day. So, you know what? You out there, everyone. I'm going to say it again. Because it's coming up to the fourth year of being single again. I'm giving him a date again. Even though I don't think he exists. I'm gonna give him a date. Show me him. Um, show me him. Show me who I am meant to marry. Because obviously it wasn't Adam. Obviously. Because the amount of shit he's put me through. I would never marry him in a million years. The amount of shit he's put me through. Still is. Tell me to fuck off and making silly songs up about me. He can fuck off. I don't give a shit. 
The only reason I'm thinking about him right now is because of being Valentine's Day. And he was my last Valentine. And he's taken and I'm not. Anyway. I'm, the date I'm giving you. To f put me in my direction. I'll give you some time. But not too long, just some time. My birthday, 20th of May. I'll give you to the 20th of May. Which is not that far off, I know, could that be in May, but it's still, it's in the middle of the year. Find him, point him in my direction. If not, then I, you won't, you don't exist. And whoever you are out there, that come to me by the, my birthday. And if not, then I give up. I honestly give up. I'm going to resolve myself to never be in love again. And focus on drama and uh, my family. And just resign myself to never be in love again. And that's not like me. I am love. Love is me. But if love is never going to find me, then you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to focus on everything else. With a little bit of mind to love. But if you don't find me by my birthday, then fuck it. You're never going to find me. And whoever does like me, I don't like them. In that way. So I'm going to come off now. And I don't know what I'm going to call this. Probably. Single it. Single sucks. Being single sucks. Oh, I hate being single. I fucking hate being single. Yeah, that's what I call it. Later.